I, 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 I still have some more questions. Um, uh, one of the questions that I want to ask, um, which I'm sure uh, you can shed some light on, um, would, would you say that apart from tradition, because Jesus himself said that, uh, Lord Jesus himself, himself said that, uh, he told the Pharisees that you have nullified the word of God by your tradition. Uh, so, leaving tradition aside, would you say, um, or by, from your experience, would you say that insecurity also sometimes can play a role uh, holding people back or holding uh, leaders back, perhaps, from um, encouraging their people to pursue the prophetic? Because um, a, a leader may feel that, okay, once this person starts hearing, that person will not need me. Or once this person starts hearing, uh, you know, maybe this person will go ahead of me or, you know. Um, so could, is, does insecurity sometimes play a role? Uh, have you seen that happen? And uh, from your view or from your experience, what is, what, are, what is the downside or how does insecurity manifest sometimes in leadership in, in decisions? Um, when it comes to pursuing the prophetic, when it comes to releasing people for the work of the ministry, giving people freedom. Uh, from your experience, have you seen that play a role? If a senior leader is not sensitive to the voice of God and uh, he is uh, more organizational and uh, he believes that he has a vision from God. It could be from God, no doubting of that. And he wants to accomplish that vision. And therefore, he needs all these people to fulfill that vision God has given. And so, the, the downside of it, you are very apostolic. You are very visionary but you are not sensitive to the voice of God. Your sensitivity to the voice of God is limited to what the vision, the vision that you have. So anybody should not hear outside of what God has given to me. I am the leader. Uh, my responsibility is to accomplish this uh, vision, uh, God-given vision with all these people who are coming. Nobody should have a vision of his own apart from this vision. And if they ever hear God, it should be hearing according to this vision. So this kind of uh, restrictions are in some leadership. Not understanding that uh, the whole kingdom concept, that the role that I play within this uh, fellowship, is only a small part compared to all the big, uh, the big, the panoramic view of the whole church. So everybody plays a role. My role in your life, let's say, uh, you are my believer, and my role to play in your life is to equip you, is to impart into you is to enable you to catch this vision and grow in this vision. But there will come a day where the Lord wants you, this part of your training in this church is my role as a leadership over your life is not till the end. It will come to a certain full stop when the call of God in your life is towards something different more bigger, more different than the vision that is given to me. Because God has the global vision. I have part of that vision. So you fit in into another responsibility. So being a true father to you, I will recognize that gift and the calling, and I will graciously release. I would not say, I work so hard for you. I sacrifice all my life for you. I train you up to this level just for you to leave and do something that you think you are right. Wrong way of saying. Because I don't have it all. I have the kingdom 
the king of the kingdom inside me. What I am doing is part of the kingdom. Your role in this church is up to this level. Then your role would fit into another work where I will joyfully check it out, make sure it is the right thing, and bless you and release you. And we can keep in touch. That kind of grace is not working well. The insecurity could be the tithes you are giving that is helping this church to pay its and the workers. Uh, secondly, you are talented. Your talent will help me. To Thirdly, I have invested so much on you by training you. So I want you here. So they are not hearing accurately from the kingdom perspective of Christ. They are, the limitation in their hearing is in this vision, you must fit in. There cannot be another vision outside of this vision in his kingdom for you to go. Because I have to finish this work. I have to build it strong. And I want everybody in. That kind of thing I perceive. So, uh, from what I'm able to gather from you is that the having a kingdom mindset is critical and vital uh, for any kind of prophetic ministry to thrive in the long term. Uh, with without the kingdom mindset, prophetic training, prophetic ministry cannot go the distance. It cannot go too far. Well, thank you for sharing that. Um, Oh